You want to get fabric mods in 1.21.7 and first thing we need to do is download the fabric mod loader. This is of course linked down below along with everything we talk about but you can also just go to Google and search fabric Minecraft download and that will take you here where you want to click on this page and then click on the blue download button here. That will take you to Fabric's official download page or you can click download for Windows and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now, I do want to mention that you're also going to want to get the Fabric API mod. This can be found on Google and can be downloaded from CurseForge or Moderinth. Those are trusted places to get Minecraft mods. And when downloading any mod, you want to make sure that it is for the Fabric mod loader and that it is for 1.21.8. So this is the version here that we want. Just click the three dots, click download file, and it will begin. Well, that's downloading code from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, fabric mods, of course, to your server. You really customize it any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out. So check it out. First link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Nonetheless, we now have the Fabric API and Fabric mod downloaded. You may also want to download some Fabric mods themselves. There's tons of them out there, and the trusted places to download these are from CurseForge and Moderinth. You can find these by Googling Minecraft mod downloads. And whenever we do that, we'll be able to see CurseForge and Moderinth are both here as the first two links. When downloading, you always want to filter for Fabric and then 1.21.8 in order to make sure you are getting mods for this specific version. Let's go ahead and grab Jade here just because it's one of my favorite favorite mods and we can come in here and simply download that fabric version for 1.21.8 that we were just talking about. Boom download there you go now occasionally you will need another mod like a library mod or something like that for a mod to work but jade actually doesn't require any of those and that's great we can just click on here and confirm that by going to related projects and see that it's an optional dependency not required now with that being said you can do the same thing on modern filter for fabric 1.21.8 and you can for example grab sodium and go to versions here and grab that fabric 1.21.8 version now with these downloaded we can get everything installed and to do that you want to minimize your browser and we can go ahead and find the files in our downloads folder. Then we want to start off with the fabric installer here. Just double click on the fabric installer and it will open up this. It's going to warn you that it's not a recognized app. That's because fabric's not in the Windows App Store basically. We can click more info here and click run anyway and it will go ahead and now launch the fabric installer. Make sure create profile is checked. Click install and now it will install fabric. There you go. Now we can get our fabric mods installed. That's going to be the fabric API, Jade, and Sodium. I'm going to move all these to the desktop just because that's easier to manage them there, but they won't be there long. Don't worry. We now want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, go to installations, and then make sure modded is checked, and you'll have this fabric loader installation. Hover over it, click the folder icon, and you should have a mods folder in here. If not, just go ahead and make one by right-clicking, creating a new folder, and naming it mods. In that mods folder, just drag and drop any Minecraft Fabric mods you want to install, and they are now installed in game. We can play Minecraft using Fabric, and once we are in game, the mods will be active. We can check if Sodium's active by going to Options and Video Settings. Those are completely different, showing that's active, and we'll jump onto a simple game hosting server to see that the Jade mod is active. Jade is just a mod that shows you what you're looking at. As you can see, look over here, it's Oak Planks. Look over here, it's an item frame with an Elytra in it, and over here, it's Oak Logs. So that is working at the top of the screen there. So there you have it. That's how you can get fabric mods in minecraft 1.21.8 if you've got any questions let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one i am out peace